Lately I've been feeling quite stressed to be honest. And I've had such a block to getting in the kitchen recently and been asking myself, how can this, how can I make this easier? Why is this so hard? So in this video, I'm gonna share with you how I'm gonna simplify the system, remove obstacles, so I can actually cook the kind of meals that really will help me maintain my 40 pound weight loss. My kids literally just go went and broke the washing line. You do just go to the Domino's app and order it. Hey, welcome to the channel. My name is Chels, and if you are feeling burnt out, frustrated, stressed, that you don't have time to cook, you are struggling to create healthy meals and there just seems like there's too many barriers and obstacles to you actually eating healthily and Domino's is way too easy to call, then this is the video for you. Lately I've been feeling quite stressed to be honest and there's a lot of stuff happening in my personal life. I've also just been extremely busy and what's suffering is my eating. It's kind of always the first thing to go, isn't it? I'm not wanting to cook as much, I'm struggling to have the motivation to go and shop and so what that means is I'm ordering Domino's more or I'm when I am cooking it's not as healthy foods, I'm not cooking up as many vegetables and I've had such a block to getting in the kitchen recently and been asking myself how can this, how can I make this easier, why is this so hard? And I realized that I was trying to work with a system of meal prep and cooking that worked for me when I had more time, but that current system has way too many obstacles for where I am at right now. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you how I'm gonna simplify the system, remove obstacles, so I can actually cook the kind of meals that really will help me maintain my 40 pound weight loss and that don't feel like a burden. And this is so important, it's the thing I'm most passionate about is really looking at how do I improve my system rather than how do I improve myself. Most people feel like they're a failure because they're not following through on the commitments that they've made to themselves, they're not eating healthy, they're binging, they're saying yes to the cake instead of the broccoli and they feel like that's their fault. In reality, your current system is what is set up to support your current behavior. So rather than saying, you know, I'm a failure, I need to try harder, what you need to do is set up a system that supports that new behavior you're trying to create. Humans are hardwired to choose the path of least resistance. It's what has created all of the innovation that we have so far in the world, and it's what keeps us alive. The problem is most of us are stuck in this mindset of trying to exert more and more effort and more and more willpower when those things are a limited resource. At some point, you're gonna run out of motivation. And if your habits rely on that, or if your behavior does, then as soon as that goes out the window, your behavior does too. So rather than working against human nature, which is what pretty much every traditional diet does, instead you need to create a system that makes it easy obvious and effortless for you to follow through on those behaviors that you're trying to create. So my goal is to make my system super easy and I identified the three obstacles that were stopping that happening. The first one was that I was struggling to know what to cook. I didn't know. The second one was when I did find out what to cook, it was taking too long. I was spending way too much time in the kitchen. And the third one was after I'd spent all that time, it would take me ages to clean up. So I wouldn't want to start in the first place. So to simplify that, I had to make cooking a no-brainer by removing some of the decision fatigue. I have to be able to make meals that are quick and easy, and they also have to be easy to clean up from. Those are the filters that I'm gonna set, and those are my highest priorities. Let's go through this process together so you can get some ideas of how to simplify your own system, make it easier and more effortless. And then at the end, we'll talk about how to identify your highest priority and create filters like I just did so that your system becomes easier, more obvious, more effortless, so that you actually do it. So I have just written out some uh, meals that I make consistently and I, wanna, I want them to have a mix of whole grains, legumes and veggies. So these are the kind of things that I normally cook. There's eight here. So I've got these eight recipes that I've written down, which I can't, I cook quite often. Uh, but as I'm looking at it, I'm like, actually, I think eight is too many because my highest priority here is to remove decision fatigue because that's one of my biggest obstacles. So I can't have a ton of recipes in that because that's gonna create friction there, right? I'm trying to make my system 
easy, obvious, and effortless. So what that means is I'm gonna, it is gonna require a little bit of sacrifice there where I don't have not as much variety, but variety isn't my biggest bottleneck. It's not my biggest friction point. It's not why I'm not eating this food. It's decision fatigue. So that's the thing that I need to focus on. So from these eight meals, I'm gonna choose five that have those things that I want, whole grains, legumes, veggies and then every night what I'm planning to do is just look at that and choose from there and maybe one night a week I'll cook something different but that's going to help to remove a lot of that fatigue. So I've written down six recipes and these are things that are really easy to make because uh, this was a second filter that I was going to have. They had to be things that are easy to make and easy to clean up from so as I've been writing stuff down, I've also thought about how can I make it easier or can I make an easier version? So let me just tell you what I wrote down to start with. I've got pressure cooker potatoes with salad and I've got risotto with roast tomatoes. This is also in the pressure cooker. I've got one pot pasta and I originally wrote down pasta because this is a staple for us, but then I thought, well, how could I make this even easier? So rather than giving myself the option to just cook, you know, regular pasta, because I want to remove decision fatigue and I want it to be easy, I've decided that when I cook pasta, it will just be one pot pasta. And ease is my highest priority right now, not variety. And then I've got a stir fry, I've got kitchidi, which I'll make in the pressure cooker. And then I love having burritos and I've got this recipe here for this, these lettuce cut burritos, but because I've got to get the right kind of lettuce and they have all these toppings. It actually be ends up being something that takes a lot of time and effort. So how, I was thinking, how can I make this easier and more simple? I'll do the same burrito mix and I'll do it with a salad or I'll just do it with toppings like a chili. I won't actually put it in lettuce cups. So I'm thinking about how do I make this easier and more obvious. So Nick, what I've done is I've made this list of, it's like six options. So when we go to cook each day, it will just be something from this. They're pretty much all pressure cooker Good. options. If you ever come to me and you're like, what do you want to make? Let's just set up a system so you just, basically, we just work from this. Does that work? Yep. So this just removes, just removes some of the options. That makes sense. So I've got my six meals that give me options based on what I'm feeling on that night. And then I've also thought about how I can simplify them so that they're just way, way easier than what they've currently been. Decision fatigue removed, Nick's on the same page, and they're easy recipes, right? One pot, most of them. Next, I thought about the fact that I spend a lot of time cooking with, you know, chopped up garlic, and I'll grate fresh ginger, I cut chilies, and I love doing that because it tastes amazing. But like I said, at this point in my life, that's not serving me because that's creating too many obstacles to me actually cooking. My kids literally just go went and broke the washing line. What the heck? Little fiends. So this now becomes an intentional decision to simplify the kind of ingredients that I'm cooking with and intentionally, even though I don't want to, <laughs> but because my highest priority is ease, I've got those filters, has to be easy, has to be, I have to be able to clean up from it quickly. That means that I'm going to swap out some of my ingredients for things that make my life easier. So I'm gonna to go to the supermarket right now and do that. All right, so we're back from the shops and I've got a whole lot of stuff, which you can see here. And I've just tried to replace ingredients that normally take me a lot of time to cook, or even if it's not a lot of time, just a little bit. So some of the key ways that I've done that, and this, this is actually really hard because I love the taste of things with fresh garlic, but I've decided to really give it a good go using crushed garlic because it just removes an obstacle to cooking, right? And my highest priority was getting it done quick and easily and the cleanup. So I've got a sacrifice taste for that higher priority. Um, I also decided to do that for ginger, so I bought some crushed ginger. Rather than spending all the time to grate fresh ginger and then have to clean my grater, I'm gonna try and use that. I also got some lemon 
juice in a container because normally what I do is I, I make sure I've got lots of fresh lemons and I cut up lemon and then I'm, you know, I'm squeezing it. That's using another thing. It's just another step that I don't want to have. I also realized, okay, I spend a lot of time chopping onions. You would have seen in my videos, I'm always chopping onions. This killed me to buy this. But again, what's my highest priority? What are the obstacles? The obstacles are, it's not quick, it's not easy. So I'm gonna try using some frozen onion. Another obstacle that I have is that I'm constantly trying to season things when I'm making like nachos. And so I actually bought I actually bought some really nice um, nacho mix, like a seasoning mix, so that I'm not spending so much time and effort trying to season it. And then I also bought some nacho type beans, just to add a bit more flavor, because again, I just want to spend less time in that process. And then for salad, rather than cutting it up, I've got some kind of salad -y mix. And also, I just bought a ton of these packet rices, so that if I'm in a pinch, I can quickly just cook up some rice. It's not gonna be an obstacle to me cooking. And you guys would have seen me chop up olives before. I'm always chopping up olives for pasta. One of my meals that I had was pasta, so I bought sliced olives to just make that slightly easier. I also got pre-washed salad mix, pre-washed potatoes, pre-washed sweet potatoes. So if I cook using these things, I've already saved myself like hours during the week. So that's a start. All right, so I feel like I've tried to simplify my system. I've given myself less options for what I will be making for the week. I've simplified them all down to be one pot or one or two pots at the most. I've simplified my ingredient system. But as Michael Greger says, you don't know until you put it to the test. So we're gonna do that right now. Nick has made up some rice and I'm gonna make a super, super quick and easy stir fry. The rice on. See, it's noisy. It's always noisy here. It's just where we live. Uh, so I'm sitting outside, got my meal. Super stoked and excited by this. We've been sitting outside lots recently for our meals, which I'm absolutely loving. And I'm gonna give this a taste test. Have a look. Mmm. Yum. I can confirm, easy, quick. And the best thing is, it's super easy to clean up from because I've got rice cooker, which is easy, one pan, which is easy, and a chopping board. And there was like no, there was like a couple of scraps. So yeah, put to the test and it works. Love a little bit of avocado on top, gotta say, and coriander. Mmm, yum. So what you will have noticed is that actually simplifying my system has come at a cost. I've had to prioritize simplicity and being able to make meals that are quick and easy at the cost of some flavor and some things that I would have liked to keep, but they don't serve simplicity. They don't serve me actually getting those meals that made quickly and then cleaning up from them quickly. This is a problem that I see people doing all the time in their weight loss journey is that they try and have their cake and eat it too. They have conflicting 
priorities and what happens in that is that you always revert to what is the most default behavior. A typical example is following what other influencers are doing and wanting to create the same kind of meal prep or the same kind of complicated recipes when in fact for your situation that actually is not your priority your priority is making it as quick and simple as possible and then because these priorities are conflicting amount of time that you have versus how much effort it's going to take you're going to revert to what is easiest and maybe instead of actually go following through on that really complicated expensive recipe you do just go to the Domino's app and order it, not speaking from experience or anything. It's the same kind of thing when you go, well, I wanna have complete food freedom and I wanna have abs. Those things are kind of conflicting. Which one's gonna win? Which one do you actually prioritize? I wanna drive a Ferrari, but I wanna have more time with my kids. Well, in that moment when you're in the office and you have the opportunity to work late and make more money, which one are you gonna choose? Which is the actual priority here? Remember what I said at the beginning of the video, what you're trying to do here is to remove obstacles and friction in your system so that you are more likely to actually follow through. And so for that reason, you actually have to figure out what is that thing that is causing me the most friction and then have that as the filter and almost ignore everything else. I see so many people asking about how to optimize their meals and how many calories they need to be eating and whether they should be reducing the starch on their plate. All of these tiny, tiny little things when the big blaring problem is inconsistency and weekend binges and emotional eating. And I kind of think, well, you know, what's your actual priorities here? What is your actual obstacles to success? Your actual obstacle is that you're making it too hard for yourself to stick to. So why are you focusing so much on making it even harder for yourself to stick to. This is about having your eyes wide open when you're making decisions about what's actually holding you back. Not getting caught up on tiny details that may be irrelevant for someone else, but not for you. You'll also notice that I made the decision to include more processed food in my trolley. I've got packaged rice, I've got pre-mixed spice, and those beans that I bought have got a little bit of sugar in them. But again, it's picking my battles, it's picking my priorities. It's more of a battle for me to actually cook a healthy meal and you'll also notice that I've got more processed food in my trolley. I've got those pre-seasoned beans and yeah, ideally I'd do it all from scratch and season my own beans, but the, the battle that I'm picking here is it's not pre-seasoned beans versus unseasoned beans, it's making it easier so I actually cook a meal with beans versus Domino's. Like that's the actual comparison there. That's the actual conflict there. So rather than always comparing yourself with the absolute ideal situation that hypothetically you do that you're just never going to, instead ask yourself, how can I make this easier for myself to actually improve my habits from where I am and improve my system from my current starting point? not where you should be or where some other random person online seems like they are. Keep this front of mind. You are not a failure. Your system is set up to support your current behaviors. If you wanna change your current behaviors, then change your system. If you want a system that you'll stick to, make it as easy and frictionless as you possibly can. If you wanna know more about this concept, then I did a podcast episode all about it. It's one of the, my favorite podcast episodes that I've done and I think you'll find it extremely helpful. It's how to get better results with less effort. You can check that out in the description. That's it for the video. Let me know in the comments what's one easy way that you can simplify your system so that there's less friction to you actually following through on it. I'd love to hear what you do. I'll see you next week for another video and check out what's coming up next. I wanted to talk to you about some really common mistakes that most people make when on a weight loss journey. I have certainly made every single one of these mistakes. Two weeks eating pretty much just bananas or I would do uh, like a month eating like only smoothies and I gained about 10 kilos, which is 20 pounds. It's all about getting into a calorie deficit and you know, a slip up here and there is not going to affect that. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe so that you can see when I put out more. All right, see you next week, bye. Thank you.